always think it's really fascinating hearing what items that people would repurchase again in a heartbeat if they had to start their wardrobe from scratch. You'll know I've done a video like this before, I'm going to link it up in the cards, but I thought today I'd just condense it down to a few of my staple favourites that I wear on repeat. And none of these will come as a surprise to you. At least I don't think so. Also, plays my most scratchy voice, it's still not quite come right yet. So I kind of want to start with a good classic staple fave, which many of you will have seen me wear so many times. It is this acid wash pair of jeans from Witchery, which I bought almost three years ago now. I've worn and loved these so much that the button has fallen off. I'm planning to repair them when we finally get back into our home because I've got buttons somewhere, I just can't find anything. I love the fit of them. The denim is so nice and soft and they just kind of go with everything. They're a slim jean but they're not too skinny and I think that really fits the style that I personally have been gravitating towards recently. This video includes a paid for integration with Linnea who are currently running the most epic holiday sale. They have up to 60% off site wide which is unbelievable and a great opportunity to pick up a gift for a loved one or treat yourself but also up until the 8th of December they will be including a Parve diamond band with every purchase of their tulip bag which is just the most iconic bag and the most beautiful vachetta leather with the contrast linen interior and linen peeking throughout the sides I adore this bag and I think it is so chic it's the type of thing that will actually get softer with age the Miriam diamond band that is actually one of the items in my wardrobe that I would absolutely repurchase in a heartbeat if it went missing. That one along with my Ilsa Ring Lux, which I really like to pair the two together. They have been set with the Lab Grown Diamonds, which I've done a video talking all about the Lab Grown Diamond collection, which I'm going to link up in the cards, which is such a sustainable way to add diamond piece into your closet. I did also want to touch on a couple of my other favorites from the brand. Most importantly to me, my Matilde Pearl Drop earrings. I wear these so frequently. I always highlight them whenever I'm talking about my favorites from Linnea. And if you haven't purchased them already, I think now is the moment. These are not only a beautiful gift for yourself, but also a beautiful gift for a loved one if you are on the hunt for a Christmas present right now. I like the fact that they can be worn both casually and for a more dressed up or elegant, refined evening out if need be, just because of the actual style of them. They have that organic shape at the top and then the pearl drop, just absolutely stunning. Then I did also want to highlight a couple of new favorites from the brand, which have recently been released and I just, I had to share them with you. So first of all, we have the Statement Moonstone Ring. The Moonstone itself is really, really large and it's very striking and it has the white sapphires either side of the band. The band is really thick too and I have paired that with this open ring which also features those lovely little white topaz stones. These two rings were actually designed to be worn together so you can see they fit and stack perfectly next to each other but you can also wear them apart if you wish and they do also come in the silver as well. One thing to consider when you are gifting anyone jewellery for Christmas is what colour, what tone jewellery do they wear? Do they wear rose gold, gold or silver? Perhaps lean into that. Are they a person who likes to wear earrings or lots of really kind of fun stacking rings or do they prefer a fine dainty chain necklace or even just a little bracelet? Those are also other elements to kind of think about because then you can lean into that when you are considering what type of jewellery piece to gift them. If you've been following me for a while, you already know my absolute favourites. These earrings for sure. But there are some really stunning necklaces, tennis bracelets, pearl bracelets, fine chain necklaces at Linnea as well, which would be worthy of anyone's Christmas wish list. I will have all of the details of this promotion down in the description box below and also a link to my personal favorites from Linnea in case you need a little bit of gifting inspiration. But honestly, this is one of those sales that I really don't think you can miss and the quality of all of their pieces is really amazing. I have had all of mine for many years and they've held up so well because they do really pay attention to the details. They use 14 karat gold for all of their plated pieces and the plating is 2.5 microns thick which is up to 10 times thicker than other brands and sustainability is also at the core of Linnea and everything they do which is something that I really admire and one of the reasons why I think I connect so strongly with them. Alright so let's kind of talk about the next item that I would repurpose 
purchase in a heartbeat and that would have to be my Vanelli two-tone pumps and these ones I actually do need to repurchase they are looking a little bit worse for wear but I've talked about them so many times they're so chic they're so comfortable straight off the bat they require zero break-in and I think that they look great with more dressy outfits as well as more casual ones they always make me feel put together and I appreciate the fact that I've been able to wear these walking more than 10 kilometers in a day without a single blister. As you can tell, I want to do this in no particular order. So let's do a dress next. And I want to share this Ophelia dress from Marl. This was one that I purchased when I was pregnant with our son. So in 2019, I've had it for quite a while now. And I reach for it every single summer because it is just such a beautiful tiered dress. I always feel good in it. And I think when you buy something that is very kind of simple, but does have elevated details to it, and that is reflective of your personal style, it will be something that you reach for year on year without fail. And it is in a cotton too, which means it's very easy to care for, especially with two little ones. I'm often throwing it in the washing machine. Okay, basic t-shirt, the one that I would repurchase in a heartbeat, my Series Life cotton tees. These are so amazing. I love the oversized fit. For me, this is something I really want out of my t-shirt, something that is slouchy. They have a slightly longer sleeve length, which I know many people do sort of look for in their t-shirts. They do want to cover up a little bit more of their arms, which is really nice. And then they have the stepped hem too. So this is a great one for wearing loose with a legging, but also equally great tucking in. And these are made from organic cotton. Cotton, so they're really nice and soft sturdy and they wash really well too I think my favorite pair of denim shorts has to be these ones that I've actually got on from Everlane I'm gonna show you in the cutaways my blue ones they're the A-line denim shorts and I love these so much I have them in four colors so you can tell I'm a fan they are so incredibly flattering an A-line silhouette suits absolutely everyone they have this wide leg opening which has a bit of a slimming effect but also they aren't obscenely short they do have a bit more length through them so they skim over over the widest part of your hips and that I think is the reason why they are so flattering on and why they do feel so good to wear. The denim is quite thick on them as well um, and they feel very robust but they don't feel uh, too rigid and they wash really well. I've wanted mine so many times and definitely a style I couldn't live without in my closet. A blazer favorite of mine would actually have to be my Frankie Shop blazer. Now I think that this is quite expensive for what it is and you can easily find a more affordable option on the high street. I care if it's accessible to you, even cause H&M, they will all have something that is kind of in the same vein. But for me, this is something that I have found has worked regardless of the situation or the context in which I need to wear a blazer. It looks great worn for more casual occasions. It looks great worn over a slip dress or a fancy dress for an evening out. It looks great for day to day. It can be a little bit more formal, dressed up for the office. If I wrap it around my body and belt it, I just have found so many ways to wear it. And for me, it has kind of become a little bit of a crutch, something that I rely on and that I absolutely adore. I do maybe wish it was a touch bit smaller, but for me, it is such a hero piece and something that I really enjoy wearing. Okay, my Arquette white and blue Merinier or striped top. This is a really nice oversized silhouette and it's really slouchy. I tend to find myself leaning into this idea concept of being very comfortable in what I'm wearing. And this is that to a T. The cotton itself is really nice and soft and I am wearing it in a size small. So if you wanted something that fit a little bit closer to the body, you could size down. I think you've got a little bit of flexibility there with this particular style. Again, it does also wash really well. A favorite pair of trousers. I think at the moment I'm really into that kind of fluid trouser, something that is a little bit longer and that has a really nice elongating effect. So for me, it is these linen trousers from Facade Pattern. Uh, I don't know if these are currently in stock. However, I do believe that they will bring them back uh, if you keep an eye out on the page. They have very similar styles in wool for winter. I can't even tell you how much I love these trousers. They are something that are so easy to wear, being black. They go with absolutely everything in my closet. But they're just, they're so comfortable. They're cotton linen, so they're breathable, perfect for summertime. But then I can kind of wear them as we inch toward the wintertime too, which is something I, I like because I try to kind of get as much wear out of my wardrobe staples as possible. 
again easy to dress up and easy to dress down and I, I found them to be really well made too they go through the wash well as well as you can tell there are a lot of items here which really are sort of more natural fiber pieces that are easy to take care of thinking about the sweaters that I would repurchase in a heartbeat if I had to the first one I thought that I would include in this video was my old Celine knit which I spent seven years trying to track down but if I'm thinking about something that I actually wear all the time, that one that one to me is a little bit precious right now and I haven't really worn it as much as I'd anticipated. I think once the kids are a bit older, it will be something I wear and I cycle in now on repeat because it is so classic. But the one that I have gotten so much wear out of is from Jenny Kane and it is their cotton cashmere crew neck. This is oversized, it's slouchy, leans into that element of comfort that I mentioned earlier and it is really easy to care for too. It kind of goes with absolutely everything whether I'm wearing a skirt, shorts, trousers, jeans so I like the fact that I'm not limited with what I can wear it with and it's also got really nice long sleeves so if I do just want to drape it over my shoulders that works nicely too. I have another pair of jeans which I adore and could not be without and they are my totem cropped jean. Now while my eye has sort of really rested quite nicely on those longer fluid silhouettes I find myself coming back to these jeans because they are a little bit of a comfort zone for me I know how to wear them I know what looks good with them because I have worn them so many times and again they are something that has really lasted the distance I've had them for a good few years now and I've worn them on repeat they've gone through the washing machine countless times and they look amazing and that to me is something that's really important especially when you are spending a lot more money on denim I did purchase I've got three pairs of them that's how much I love them I purchased all three pairs on sale so they do regularly get discounted and it's definitely worth keeping an eye out for the sales if you have had your eye on them thinking about coats the coat that I would repurchase in a heartbeat this one was really tough because I've got a lot of coats that I absolutely adore and that I never want to be without and I'm a coat hoarder despite living in a pretty warm climate I hoard coats but I think the one and this is actually the one that I've worn the most most recently would be my grey boyfriend coat from the curated I just think this goes with absolutely everything that I own and I love how it looks worn open for me it is really nice and warm it doesn't feel too heavy weight but it also looks gorgeous worn belted too uh, it has this very nice Scandi chic vibe to it which I really resonate with in the way that I put together my outfits and it is so soft it feels really luxurious and it feels more luxurious than the price point would suggest it is more of a splurge but it feels more luxurious than its price point and I think if you ever ask me if I think it is worth it 100% hand on heart yes 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 it is such a beautiful piece I had to mention my Valentina crop trousers from House of Dagmar these actually also come in a longer length which I think is probably a little bit more reflective of where the current fashion zeitgeist is going the direction but I love these because they're in a boucle and it kind of adds this level of elegance refinement to the trouser uh, and this really lovely textural component which to me that visual tactile feeling of the fabric is what really makes these so special and why they are such a must in my wardrobe I also find that they just go with absolutely everything and the crop length works really well with boots for the winter months I wanted to end on a silk camisole which I feel has been a pretty heavy feature in my style journey over the years it is such a good basic for me and probably the one that I would repurchase in a heartbeat the one that makes me feel amazing right now is this one from Jenny Kane it is in a deep moss green color I absolutely love the fact that it's not black cream or gray it has a little bit more depth and dimension to it because of that mossy color to it and also the fabric itself it kind of the way it catches the light I think is really beautiful I love the seam detail the fact that it is more of a v-neck camisole and this looks great worn loose and both tucked I especially love wearing this with those facade pattern trousers that I shared earlier I think it's a really nice pairing especially when worn with a black belt at the waist it feels very kind of undone but very chic put together at the same time I am wearing it in an extra small by the way I do find that the style ran large so I had to 
size down. I would say this is definitely not an exhaustive list of all the items I would repurchase in a heartbeat if I lost my entire closet, but that is kind of the starting point, and I feel like that would give me a really good grounding for my style moving forward in terms of the items that I feel like I would need to and want to reach for on a regular basis. There are a few things I don't quite have with me right now, like my About Ariane Ballet Palms. They're at the Cobbler, getting new soles put on them so that I can breathe a bit more life into them, and those I would absolutely repurchase in a heartbeat too, of course. But uh, I, I do think, as I said, this is a great starting point, and from there I'd be able to build up my wardrobe in any direction that I wished. I'd love to know actually what items you would repurchase in a heartbeat if you lost your wardrobe or if just say a moth destroyed all your sweaters, where would you begin? And also a huge thank you to Linnea for partnering with me on this video. I want to highlight again the fact that you can get up to 60% off site wide as part of their holiday sale and you can also get a beautiful diamond pave ring with any purchase of their iconic tulip bag that is definitely not an opportunity to be missed especially if you've been eyeing up the tulip bag already I feel like that is just such a winning discount right now so don't forget you've only got a few more days to shop that particular promo thank you so much for watching as always I just am so grateful I truly appreciate you for taking the time to sit down and watch this video and spend some of your time with me I will see you next time with a brand new one hope you're having an amazing week and see you soon bye